Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. In today's video, we will be learning how to create graphs in SPSS. Even before I proceed to demonstrate how to create simple graphs in SPSS, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Let me begin by introducing to my audience the data set that I'll be working on. This data set is called as the employee data set. This data set is present in the samples folder of SPSS. As you can see, in this data set, I've got very simple variables like employee ID, job category, and salary. The first employee here works as a manager, and the salary that he's drawing is $57,000. Now, what is the sample size of this data set? Let me go to the last record. It says 474. So I've got a healthy sample size of 474. This data is lifeless. We'd like to put some life into this dead data set. If you want to understand whether there are any patterns in the data set, the simplest and the easiest way to do it would be through graphs. There are multiple ways in which you can create graphs. The simplest way of creating a graph is by using the frequencies option in SPSS. Let me click on the analyze menu bar. The second option from the top is descriptive statistics. Here, under the descriptive statistics section, the first option is frequencies. Let me go ahead and select the frequencies option. I'm going to hit the reset button. Initially, the frequencies option will appear like this. In the canvas to the left hand side, you can see the three variables that are present. You can select any variable. I'm going to select a categorical variable, namely employment category. And then I'm going to click on the arrow here. What this does is it will generate the frequency distribution of employment category. In the left hand side bottom corner, you can see an option which says display frequency tables. I'm not interested in seeing a frequency distribution table. So let me go ahead and remove this particular option. SPSS gives me a warning. It says you have turned off all output. Unless you select any output options, this procedure will not run. I'm okay with this. Now, I want to create a simple bar chart. To create a simple bar chart, let me draw your attention to what is called as the charts button here. The charts option is present in the right hand side top corner. Let me go ahead and select the charts option. This will open up frequencies charts. There are four options under chart type. The first one is none. Second option is bar charts. The third option is a pie chart. And the fourth option is a histogram. You can go ahead and select any of these options. I want to keep it very simple here. So let me select a bar chart here. When you go to chart values, you're presented with two options. Either you can display the frequencies or you can display the percentages. I will select the percentages option. This is how simple it is to create a bar chart. All that you need to do is select the bar chart, select the percentages, continue and hit the OK button. This is the output window of SPSS, and SPSS gives you the frequency statistics. There are 474 valid cases, and there are zero missing cases. Here, we can see a bar chart. In the x-axis, what we are seeing is employment category, which is broken down into three groups, namely clerks, custodials, and managers. The tallest bar that I see is for clerks. 
which means majority of the employees in this organization are working as clerks. Approximately 80% of them are working as clerks. Approximately 20% of them are working as managers and barely 3% are working as custodials. There are a couple of things that you can do to edit this particular graph. How do you edit a graph? The first thing that you need to do is double click on this particular graph. The moment you double click, you can see there is a new window, which is called as the chart editor window, which opens up. Let me select a bar, right click on the bar. This will open up a lot of options. You can go to the select option and choose all bar. When you choose the option all bar, the changes will be implemented in all the bars. So let me go ahead and select all bar. What happens when you select all bar is automatically the properties window will open up. You can see here, this is the properties window. At the top, you have what is called as the bar options. Let me select the bar options. Here, under the width section, you can change the width of the bar. Currently, it is set at 90%. I like to reduce this to around 30%. Let me reduce this further, it's around 31%. To see what is the effect of changing the bar width, you can apply and the width of the bar is reduced in the background. So this is how you can reduce the width of the bar. In case you're not happy and you wish to reduce the bar width further, you can reduce it to 17% and click on apply. This looks very small. So let me go and increase this to 30%. This is how easy it is to edit a graph in SPSS. The second thing that I'd like to do is change the color of the bars. To do this, you have an option which is called as fill and border. Let me select this particular option, fill and border. Here, under the color section, you can see different colors like red, blue, green, so on and so forth. I'll choose the red color and click on apply. You can see in the background, the bar color has changed. You can experiment with other colors as well if you want. I'm happy with the red color. So let me select the red color and click on apply. To close the properties window, you have an option called as close. So let me go ahead and close this particular button. What you are seeing is the chart editor window. I'm going to close the chart editor window. And this is how the bar chart appears now. So this is how easily you can create a bar chart in SPSS. If you were to create a bar chart using Python or R, it is very complicated. You have to write at least five to six lines of code in Python or R. You need to install the library, then remember the codes. All of those things are avoided when you use SPSS. Let's come back to SPSS and create the second graph. The second graph, which I'm interested to show you is a pie chart. To create a pie chart, let me go to the Analyze menu bar. The second option from the top is Descriptive Statistics. Here, the very first option is what is called as Frequencies. You can see here, the moment I select Frequencies, the Frequencies dialog, bo dialog box opens up. I'm going to go to the Charts option here. This will open up Frequencies Charts. The chart type here is bar chart. I'm going to change this to pie chart. 
once you select the pie chart, make sure that you have selected percentages. You can hit the continue button and then click on OK. We are now in the output window of SPSS. Here you can see your pie chart is created. This pie chart shows me the distribution of clerks, custodials, and managers. May I draw your attention to the legend section? The blue color here represents clerks. The red color slice represents custodials. And the green color slice represents managers. But one very interesting thing is that SPSS does not display the percentages on each of the slices. To make SPSS display the percentages, you have to double click on the graph. The moment you double click on the graph, the chart editor option opens up. Here you see an option which is called as data label mode. You have to select this particular option, data label mode. After selecting the data label mode, you can go ahead and click on the green colored slice, then the blue colored slice, and then the red color slice. The moment you click on each of these slices, you can see SPSS displays the percentage of managers, which means we have 17% managers in this data. We have 76% clerks in this data and approximately 5% of custodials in this data. Let me go ahead and close this particular window. So our pie chart is ready. The third graph which I'd like to show is a histogram. To create a histogram, let me go back to Analyze menu bar. The second option is Descriptive Statistics. And here we have Frequencies. I'm going to select the Frequencies option. This will produce the Frequencies dialog box. By now, you are already familiar how the Frequencies option works. Here is the catch. As you can see, I have a categorical variable. I will remove this categorical variable now and select the scale variable, namely current salary. Why am I selecting a scale variable? I'm selecting a scale variable because I want to create a histogram. To create a histogram, let me go to the chart section. Here, the fourth option from the top is histogram. You are familiar with how to create a bar chart. You're also familiar with how to create a pie chart. Let's now produce a simple histogram for the variable current salary. Once you have selected histogram, you can go ahead and click on the continue button and then hit the OK button. You can see here in the output section, you have a histogram being created. In the y-axis, you have frequency. And in the x-axis, you have the values of salary. Clearly, this variable is not normally distributed. At the right-hand side top corner, SPSS displays some basic statistics like mean. The average salary here is dollar 34,000, the standard deviation is $17,000, and the sample size here is 474. What I'd like to do is, I'd like to superimpose a normal curve on this histogram. How do I do this? To superimpose a normal curve on this histogram, what you can do is, you can go back to the Analyze menu bar, choose descriptive statistics and then select the frequencies option. Now, in the frequencies dialog box, make sure that you have selected a scale variable. You can go to the charts section. Here, 
we have already selected histogram. You have an option which says show normal curve on histogram. I repeat, show normal curve on histogram. Let me select this particular option, show normal curve on histogram, hit the continue button and then OK. You can see here, this is the histogram and SPSS has superimposed a normal curve for our data. Clearly, this variable violates the normality assumption. In this video, we have seen three different types of graphs. The first one is a simple bar chart. We have seen how to create a pie chart. We have seen histogram. We have also seen a histogram with a normal graph superimposed on it. With this, I have come to the end of today's video. I hope you have learned how to create three simple graphs in SPSS. I request you to subscribe to my channel. Also, like and share my videos. Thank you very much for watching this particular video. Have a great day ahead.